Just a reminder, this game is rated M by the ESRB. Hello everybody and welcome to Shields Gaming. My name is Kelsey and today we continue Telltale's The Walking Dead. Last episode, we just... It was crazy. We found out that Mark was getting eaten. That's what was upstairs is his legs got chopped off, which is not how you cure an arrow wound, if you ask me. And... Um, they tried to feed it to us, and we weren't too happy about that, so they locked us up, which inevitably caused Larry's death because he had a heart attack, which I think we all saw that coming. Unfortunately for Lily, he couldn't be resuscitated, and me and Kenny had to take him out. Um, but we were able to get out. We <laughs> ended up killing everybody, honestly. Um, at the farm and got everybody out safely. I think Kenny got shot, but he seems to be okay. So, it was crazy. We're going to have to figure out what the consequences of all that is this episode. And hopefully it doesn't, Lily doesn't have too much backlash. I mean, if she wants to go her own way, there's nothing, nothing stopping it. So, without further ado, let's jump in. Okay. Everybody's so beat up now. I still feel like it was a good idea to rid the hey, world of that skull. Sorry for leaving the motor in unattended. I never thought a laser pointer would be the thing that saved our lives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you showed up when you did. Well, we gotta stick together. Oh. Are they really chopping up people for food? Yeah, and Clementine almost ate some. Man, that is sick. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She didn't see your... No, her she stopped. saw it. This fucking world now. Tied in just unspeakable shit at every turn. Ugh. Were you guys able to salvage anything good from the dairy? Not really. St. John's took everything I had before the place got completely overrun with walkers. Oh, I was able to grab a couple of your things back while uh, Brenda wasn't looking. Oh, yeah. It the... doesn't work. You have any use for it, Doug? It's just a basic camcorder. A save lots cheapy. Let me check it out. See if I can get it working. Yeah. <sighs> That'd work. I figured he would. How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. Uh oh. There's gonna be fallout. Yeah. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, Lily will not be happy. It'll be fine. Lily will get over it. She has to. You're a better leader for us anyway. Mm, you didn't have You're to add damn that. right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready to roll. I want you to come with us. I mean it. No, I'm coming. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yes. Yes, they were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark and they were going to kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes. You kill evil so. people. You do it. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Thunder. Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Oh yeah, I can hear a dinging. Very faint. Huh. Like somebody left a car door open, maybe? How long ago? Hello? Slowly, it says. I don't hear anybody. I don't think there's anybody in here. There doesn't look like there's blood, though. Figures. It's on E. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. Holy snaps. Shitload of food and supplies back here. 
Heck yeah. What happened to the people? This food could save all of us. Not all of us. Oh my god. <sighs> she can mourn now, I guess. We're not... Know if, these people are dead. if they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. But what if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Mm. I mean... There's no blood, so they didn't get, like, killed or anything, so they probably just walked away. <sighs> it is rude to take it, but then again, they probably have left it. <sighs> Sorry, we Clem. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Who says it's your decision to make? Hey, we don't have time for this shit. Like it or not, we need this food. Now get over here and open the trunk, Lee. Well, you need to, like, calm down, okay? We don't want to die. I feel like... Is it supplies? Nah, this hey, looks lighter. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. Oh, I want to carry that. It would look lighter. Supplies? I'll take it. Somebody's just gonna leave it here. More food in here. Oh, whenever you're not starving to death, you'll thank here. me. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. Yeah. It's not mine. Well, think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with them, okay? Okay. Here, Clem. Want some uh, batteries? Your walkie talkie. Hey, Lee. You know that camcorder? I got it working. You might want to see this. Hmm. I am curious to see what's on this. What? She was filming us. Oh, poor Mike. She was filming us from the beginning. This is like before they put up the wall. Darling, baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. The hell? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. This is the beginning of this episode. But Not this episode, but the season I episode. Y'all thinking you're I'll safe? Know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who just... Her daughter. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Oh, no. I promise. That's not good. That means bandits aren't getting food anymore, and, uh... They're not gonna be very happy about that. Megan is done, pal. Ain't nothing left. We gotta get the hell out of here. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. 
Yeah, Lily the bandits are gonna come after us. But we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. You're so full of bullshit! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort all this out, alright? We can sort this out! I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Exactly! Get rid of her. God, if she wants to, like, die alone in the woods, who's gonna stop her? Not me. Alright, so here, let's look at these, uh, statistics, I guess. So, oh, this starts at the very beginning. Chopped off David's leg, which is the guy that was stuck in the bear trap. Most people chopped off his leg instead of, you know, letting him get eaten alive by zombies. Jeez, who would do that? Ugh. Uh, shot Jolene. Oh. That was the crazy chick with the camcorder. 87 people let Danny shoot her. It's probably because they were trying to get more info out of her, like... Why is Clementine's hat with you? But he, I feel like he's, st I still feel like he knew her of some, somehow, some way. I don't know if he just knew her with the bandits or whatever, but yeah, most people shot, let Danny shoot her instead of shooting her. Helped kill Larry. Wow, not very many people. You and 31% of players helped kill Larry. So a lot of people just, uh, I guess, helped Lily on that. I don't know, like, I, if you've watched this show, you you know that people don't generally come back after stuff like that, and he would have had to continue to take pills, which you wouldn't have been able to get, and I, yeah, we were in such a situation where it's like, it's, he would have been a very tough zombie to deal with after he got going, so I, I feel like it, it wasn't the right decision, but it was the only decision. Um... Revenge killed both of the St. John's brothers. Only 17% of them did. Wow. I'm sorry. I've watched too much of The Walking Dead because it's like, if you leave people alive, they're coming after you later. It doesn't matter how long. It could be years down the road, but they're going to come back. And if, I, if we have kids with us, I don't want that to happen. Especially if we end up staying at the motel, which it doesn't look like we're going to do. But I, it just seemed right. Like... If, if they didn't come after us, they would be coming after other people and eating other people and feeding it to those crazy bandits. And I just, I don't feel like that is something that I could, as Lee, live with, so. And 55% of the players stole the food from the car. I don't know if it was stealing. They, I mean, they abandoned the car. They left the door wide open, so it's not like they were... They didn't try to hide the car. They didn't even shut the door, so they were obviously leaving it for some reason. So it's one of those things where it's like you either steal or you get stolen from. So that was a a crazy episode by far. It was kind of short. I guess this episode is going to be a little bit short just because uh, it was kind of the ending of episode two of season one, but. I feel like so much more happened this episode. Like, at the end of last episode, we lost Carly. And I, I guess Doug has been a pretty good asset, so it's been okay. Of course, he's not combat asset, but uh, I, I feel like he's helped us in a lot of other ways. I would also like to point out, the very beginning of this is like, let's not go to the crazy person's dairy farm. And everybody's like, let's do it. And that got Lily er, Larry killed. And it's really all his fault, honestly. It's been a crazy episode because we sh we started finding like Ben and his group, and then his two friends died, and then we learned that they turn anybody turns when they die, no matter how they die, unless they get you know hit in the head with something. So that was crazy, and then we went to this dairy farm and found out people are already into cannibalism. Like it started super early. I figured that would be something that starts a couple years down the line, like when people are getting desperate, but. Apparently some crazy people started off super early, so that's just, I guess, the first generation of Terminus, so. <laughs> still, I, I'm still, like, baffled that they tried to serve us our own friend's legs. Like, who does that? And I, I knew, I knew, it was like, there's no way they have enough food to be giving it out to random strangers they meet on the road. There's no way. 
Because, I mean, in any situation like this, where it's like, it, you have to fend for yourself, and you have to fight for food for your own group, there's no way you're going to give it out to random strangers. It's just, that's human nature, so... It's crazy, and I'm really curious to see what happens next time when we head to the ghost. So, I guess meet, we'll meet back on uh, next time, on Tuesday, to find out where the heck we're going after the motel, because the motel's not going to stay safe. I can tell that right now, after that last inning where it's like, mm, the bandits aren't getting food, so they're going to come after you guys. So, I'll meet you guys back on Tuesday.